who helped uh, helped him avoid his uh, age-old mat rematch against Quid, something we expect to see pretty much every week here at Encore. But instead, it's gonna be it's gonna be a different a different man on a mission. As it's time for Roy, time for Carflow to go full steam ahead. Man, on a mission, definitely charging full steam ahead, taking things to over alarm. DDP, two to one, PK Chris, two to one, Quid as well, and looking to topple Ling over here in that absolute empire of a bracket run. And I mean, Carflow, you know, from the Empire State, right? If anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be him. But we were upset about this man. When he is playing on fire, when he is playing on, he can beat anybody in the world, right? Like, he, is one, he is one of the most hot and cold players you will possibly see, but it has been all heat today, whether the Roy or the Krom. We have actually seen both of those characters in bracket, but he's playing and at the same speed we normally see from him, one of the fast players we'll see him, but he's playing so much more patient. Like, yeah. the measuredness, oh my god. It's one of my favorite things to just watch Car Flow, that one of my favorite Roy players to watch just in general, because his combo game is so immaculate, the way he plays aggressive, he plays with that spacing with the forward airs, throwing out those empty moves as well, to kind of get those moves that he wants, but there you go, back air, shutting it down. Yeah, the dash in, slingshot out into the slingshot back end to find that stock just kept Ling guessing, and he's a player that you will very, rarely, if ever, catch out on empty movement. Carvalho trying oh. to find the sweet spot. I like the attempt for the eruption there, but not gonna close it out, and back here just gonna lock it down. Ling has seen that too many times before. You catch him with the movement once, but not twice, but now he has to find a way out of the corner. Yeah, and that's especially against Roy as well, who can just get this phenomenal trapping on as well. But hold on, hitting the DP a little bit, giving up that stage space, but still getting a little bit of damage. We are okay so far, and there's a get-up attack to interrupt that whole flow. Car flow still looking to get that starter on Ling, as Ling looks to sink in a backer, and there you go. There's a single one. This might look up to the edge guard, but no, Car flow getting that mix online, very strong. And did you see how the turnip kind of got body blocked by him a little bit, bounced back, and that's why it hit Car flow on the way down? A little bit of a cheeky little interaction there. Carvalho has been doing has been doing so well at playing for the win condition, right? Always forcing Peach to the corner, saying, "Okay, Lang, you can grab ledge, right? That's not what I'm concerned about. It's once you get to this edge of platform where I want to try and find as many ways to create the pressure and reset at you with nowhere left to fade back. Ling is so good at fading back your aerials, and that's really what Carvalho has tried to lock down here." Yeah, and escaping out of this advantage here, but getting put back in the corner once again. Mario Party mini games for you. There's the Nair covering the neutral getup as well. Or well, you there. can't roll a one in that situation, man. Yeah, definitely rolled a low die there. Wanted to get the high roll, but you know, you're definitely gonna be paying for that. But Ooh, Ling gonna be paying for that as well. He just, just got fly swatted by the sour spot. Just floating there, and he's like forward air. It's like, oh man, oh. Ivy. Now though, this Ooh. is where Roy gets cooking. One, two, three on the forward air. Air, and now just continue with extra pressure, but all, all these sour spots hitting and missing a couple hits too, it's only gonna be 39%. Peter's gonna do more than that in just three hits. Carvalho is swinging desperately. You're seeing the patience, the composure that's got him so far start to go a little out the window. He wants this game bad, but Snivy, oh. if you lose your composure against Ling, you will not come out on top. He has seen it all before, time and time again. And going up 1-0 now, Carflo is so close. He is so, so close here. But he needs to find a way to lock in if he wants to possibly, possibly keep going. Yeah, you can really also, tell how who both beat of Ling? These, Who beat Ling? Oh, let me, let me see real quick. Oh. I will say like, that like we're talking about Lit, we're talking about Carflow going out on this crazy losers run. Who be Ling? <laughs> oh, let's see real quick. Cause uh, cause uh, it took us that long to process. Hold on, Ling's in losers right now. Three, two, one, go. Right? Isn't he? Uh, Isn't this yeah, losers Ling. Side? This is losers. Like, oh, guy, guy, makes sense. Oh, that makes that makes, makes sense. sense. Guy, to be fair, Ling has had guy guys number historically, but the last couple times they played. Guy Guy figured him out in the run back and then hasn't dropped it off since then. Now though, Carvalho trying to pick up where he left off with that fantastically fast start from game one. He wasn't able to keep the momentum going, ran out of steam, but trying to hold on now, he is taking read after read. And whether they work out or not, man, he just keeps swinging. 
Yeah, let's see if we can keep those cinders burning right now. Carfalo had a very phenomenal start in that game one, but Ling oh slowly God. found that momentum and was able to etch it out over Carflow and with this Saturn in play, this is such a dangerous scenario. One shield break, and look, the combo game too? Okay. And I love the down smash reset. You just get the damage. Realize that you dropped the Saturn, so you prioritize we picking it up and sending them back off stage. Now Lang tossing it away to force the checkmate, because either you take the Saturn there, and then get killed off, you get killed off the hit confirm, or you jump over and Ling just reacts and catches your, your approach. Carvalho is getting caught swinging at Ghosts a couple times here, and that's one of the downsides of Roy's high octane play. Yeah, you can push so many buttons, yeah, you can move so fast, but if you get caught at the wrong moment, right, because you're pushing those buttons, you're opening yourself right up. Yeah, Carvalho not really recognizing that, you know, that Peach Bomber is not always free real estate. And I get the idea with the Dancing Blades, right? It's a really good neutral tool to kind of intercept your opponent coming at you, catching a run in. But if they catch you swinging at goes, it is GG's. It's also GG's with a ledge slip counter? Yeah, the ledge slip counter set damage. Haven't seen Ling do that one very often, which is rare to say with this man. The sweet spot there on the hilt. Barely gonna find its connection, but it's gonna do so just enough Ooh. to find the stock. Carflow, one stock to his name left in bracket. He needs to find a way to catch this princess, send her right to another castle in game number three, Snivy. But I don't know how he's gonna do it because Ling is so hard to hit. Yeah, that evasion stat is so high for Ling right now. Carflow just still swinging at the ghost. Not covering a lot of spots, but that neutral B gonna get it. The sir, oh, the Matesi eruption almost. didn't find its mark, but Snivy, all you need is one shot, right? Roy is very Oops. capable of finding those crazy, crazy combos. The air dodge in to cross up. Carflow is playing like a madman possessed right now, but Ling will not let him have this one, no matter how hard he tries. I, we see the downfill in neutral, normally a staple of Carflow's game plan, but we just haven't seen it so far. Finally come out, Ling was already ready though. Yeah, Carflow in that whole sequence went for the high recovery there at the ledge and was able to make it back. Very smart. Link kind of just preemptively doing that, and the eruption not going to catch. Unfortunately, this is looking so dire for Carflow as he is still looking to take this stock from Ling. But the dancing blade is going to take it. Yeah, and boy, with rage, double, this is scary. The double edge dance, but you have to find Oops. your way back. Forcing out the air dodge somehow found his way back, stretching those recoveries to their absolute limits. Carflow might be the new kid on the block, Snivy, but okay. he is far from inexperienced, and he has to play this perfectly. 147. Peach a neutral air, an up air, back air, almost anything she wants to swing at you with is gonna do there it. And go. those hips no. do not lie, but PS2 is so big. Unfortunately though, when you're in the corner, it doesn't matter. Yeah, throw it out the, the, the cami shimmy, the cami whirl around. Oh man, with that neutral air.